Hey guys, it's Grimdark Tuggy and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be going over how to get every coaster in Theme Park Tycoon 2. So you can see there's a lot of them and I'm going to be going over how to get every single one of them. They're all unlocked from some sort of achievement except for these first two. Um, I'm doing this video because I had a couple people request it or ask how you got a certain coaster. So I'm just like, you know what, I'll just do all of them, whatever, why not. So I've put out every single coaster, put a sign next to it with the achievement, and let's get started. So the first two coasters we're going to be looking at, Junior Coaster, Wild Mouse Coaster, pretty simple. I'm not going to be going over what the coasters are, just how you get them. And these two you start with right when you start the game. You'll find them right in your uh, tab here immediately. Um, and likely, if you've already done the tutorial or already played a bit, you'll also have the next two the Steel Coaster and the Steeplechase Coaster, because all you need for this is just the Getting Started achievement, which you need a park rating of at least half a star, which is incredibly easy to get. I mean, if you just place down, like, one ride and just a couple stalls, or just do the tutorial, you'll get the you'll get that achievement right away. It's, it's insanely easy to get, just as long as you don't have a completely empty park. Next up, we have this next achievement, and I will say, the next... Um, up to here, these next four groups are all going to be for getting stars on your coasters. Uh, if you do want to unlock these, I do have a tutorial for how to get five stars in your park, or rather tips for getting more stars on your park, and that will be linked in the description. So just head on down there, check this out if you want to see uh, more descriptive on how to get... This is a lot of coasters in this group here. So the first one's the inverted coaster and the, and the flying coaster. Uh, you're going to get both of those just from the park is growing, which means you need two stars for, which is pretty simple to get. Uh, just two stars. I mean, this park has two and a half, and like half of the rides aren't even open. So you don't really need that much for it. And there are, I'm pretty sure there's like only a couple stalls. Like this should, this should be fairly simple to get. The next up, we have multi-launch coaster, phase turbine coaster, floorless coaster, and the mine train, which you all unlock from the nice theme park achievement which requires three stars, and you need, um, this unlocks four coasters, so it's pretty good. You're going to want to go for, well, you're going to want to go for five stars, uh, which, which will unlock you all these coasters. Um, and yeah, that's pretty straightforward tutorial if you want uh, to check that out. There's only one coaster for the amazing theme park achievement, which is the suspended coaster. It came out in a recent update and I did a video showcasing it. I also did a video showcasing the mine train, but that was a while ago. Uh, you get this from getting four stars. As you can see, it unlocks the suspended coaster. And these next three are from Incredible Theme Park, where you need five stars. I don't know why it says at least. Maybe that's just to keep it the same as the others, because, because as far as I know, you can't go over five stars in a park. Uh, but anyway, this one will unlock the vertical launch coaster, the inverted launch coaster, and the Beyond Vertical Drop Coaster. Uh, I did get a comment on my most recent video, which I recorded two weeks ago. I'm sorry I <laughs> couldn't edit my videos, whatever, doesn't matter. Asking what the black and white coaster was, it was this one. I pr I'm pretty sure this is the one you were talking about, the Beyond Vertical Drop Coaster, and you just need a five-star theme park to get it. And another thing about these, if you have any theme park that is at any amount of stars, once you load it, you will automatically get the achievement. If you, for some reason, have a theme park with five stars but you don't have the achievement, I don't know how that would work, um, but you will get the achievement. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but um, it's not once, but there is another one. Okay, no, I'm not friending you. Uh, so, <laughs> um, this recent uh, serious investments, um, you could just load a park that would beat the criteria. Anyway. Same goes for this next one, Fully Expanded, which I kind of went on for a while about those. Uh, but this one will unlock four coasters, the Wing Coaster, Dive Coaster, Hydraulic Launch Coaster, and the Single Rail Coaster. Oh, this got hashtagged, oops. Um, but the point is, these uh, four are unlocked from Fully Expanded, which, uh, if you don't know how to get that, you just have to purchase all park area expansions that are purchasable with in-game money. Now what that means is, if you go to settings, or if you don't have this achievement, there will be signs placed around, but I've already gotten it, I've already unlocked every single thing. 
uh, I'm just going to go into here, scroll down to, oh wait, it's here, park area, view park area expansions, and as you can see, it says that they're all unlocked. For you, if you have a brand new park, it will only show these four near the front. Uh, and if you have the um, extra expansions game pa pass, it will give you these two rows. Uh, well, really, there'll be these two rows in the front here, plus these four here. Um, but if it doesn't show it, you will see these four here that say it's blocked because of the game pass. You need to unlock all of these 24 plots. Uh, you only have to unlock 20 of them. But that will add up to be a fair amount of money spent on unlocking plots. Uh, because I believe the first few cost like 5,000, then 10,000, 20,000. I'm pretty sure these cost 80 or maybe like over 100,000. I don't remember exactly, but it can get very, very expensive uh, to unlock all these plots. Um, but you just have to unlock all these. Of course, not counting these top two rows. You do not need a game pass for any achievement in the game. Um, None of them require game passes, even though I have all the game passes. You do not need um, game passes. Game passes can make it easier, but you do not need them. And um, even if you have that game pass, it will not count towards the 24 plots. You'll still need to buy every single plot. I'd recommend if you just want to get this achievement, go to a park with a lot of money or a lot of plots already bought. And yeah, so the next one is the spinning coaster, which you get from, it was deleted, but it was pro mode. Uh, will it? Nope, it's just, just going to hashtag. I'm going to put a space. Pro mode. There we go. That's a lot better. So this achievement, um, you need to build a build and open a tracked ride primarily using the advanced editor. Um, there is a sort of tutorial for that in my video on how to get uh, some of the difficult achievements, but I'm just going to go over it real quick because I didn't go over it very well in that video. I'm just going to use the Junior Coaster because it's simple. I'm going to place it down, build a couple stations, then go into Advanced Editor, this button down here next to Basic Editor, and I'm just going to do a really quick tutorial on how to use it. So the I usually use this Spherical Manip or whatever uh, mode. There's also these other two, but I don't know how to use them very well. Um, this one has the most features. So this red thing will tilt your track up and down uh, if you want to make hills. This green one will tilt it left and right for turns. And this blue one will bank the track. And this white arrow will make your track piece longer or shorter. Snap node to grid will allow you to snap to grid because if you have it like this off the grid and you build, you won't be able to go back and build in basic editor. You'll have to switch to advanced editor, snap it to the grid, and then build for you to be able to go back to basic editor. There's also reset node. So for example, if you have some sort of piece like this, but you don't like it, you press reset node, and it will go back. And it does keep the same banking or roll, as it says here, which I will set to zero. Um, next, there's the track feature, which you can set to any of these. I'm just going to use chain lift and then drag up the red, which is what you probably want to do for the start of your coaster. Then just press build, build a couple of them, uh, flatten it out, ideally tilted very slightly down, downward. You could use snap node to grid if you want it to go exactly flat. Uh, then you want to put your track feature back to normal. Use the green one to turn it. Turn it pretty much around, doesn't have to be exact. And then you can use the red one down to make a hill. So I'm just going to build a few pieces like this. I'm going to stretch this one out a bit, snap it to the grid, build, and I'm, even though it's snapped to the grid, I don't want to go back to the basic editor because it could accidentally not get me the achievement if it's not built primarily using the um, advanced editor. So I'm going to place in some breaks as well, go to normal, turn it, build, and now I'm going to use this snap node to segment, which is very helpful for lining up the ends of your coasters, because otherwise you'd have to get the length exactly right, drag it to the exact right position, and then have it snap. 
uh, pressing the button is a whole lot easier. Then you're just going to build this, and if you place in your two stations, you should get the achievement once you open the ride. Um, that was a quick tutorial. Sorry if it was annoying at all, but I wasn't very clear about that in my other video, so I just wanted to make it more clear here uh, if you do need that. Um, anyway, next two coasters, last uh, one, a couple last ones. The hyper coaster and wooden coaster, you need the achievement a worthy park. This one you will get if you uh, have a total park value of at least $200,000. The way this works, you can see your park value in the settings menu. Uh, as you can see, mine is $600,000. Um, you can also check at the, I can't really see it from all the way out here, but you can also see it at the eye at the front of your park. The way you increase this is just by building more rides and spending more money on things inside of your park. Uh, it does not count things that you've deleted, so if you want to get this, I'd recommend just getting one of the most expensive roller coasters that you currently have unlocked, which obviously you aren't going to have hybrid or wooden, or hyper coaster for that matter. Uh, so I'd recommend if you have uh, fully expanded to use the um, hydraulic coaster, but if you ha just use whatever you have unlocked. If you have at least four stars, use a suspended coaster. Otherwise, you might have to use one of these cheaper ones. And then just build. It doesn't have to be a completed coaster. But you might want to do that for more income to get that money back that you've spent on it. Same goes for the hyper coaster. It's actually got the same exact tips. And I'm my cursor's glitched. Ah, there we go. Same goes for the hybrid coaster because it needs serious investments which is basically part two of a worthy park. All you need for this one, park value, at least $400,000. Um, I did make a video giving a few more tips for increasing park value, uh, so I'll also put that link in the description. But other than that, I'm pretty sure I've gone over every single roller coaster in the game and how to unlock it. If you have any questions, comment them down below and I will respond. Uh, but other than that, uh, check out my Discord, maybe subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, check out my other videos, you might like them too, and bye!